Hey there math students. Looks like you're starting to work with complex and imaginary numbers and you want to know if and how your TI-84 plus calculator can work with these. Well it can and I'll show you. Now a complex number and an imaginary number are not quite the same thing. An imaginary number is a number uh, like this. I. Okay, not very interesting but we do have it here. I is a number that is the square root of negative 1. So if we square i, we get negative 1. I know that doesn't seem impressive right now, but uh, this is the uh, only number that'll do that. If you square any real number, whether it's uh, negative or not, and in order to square it, I should be putting it uh, in brackets, negative 1 squared it'll be positive. So this is very unique and very handy for certain situations. Uh, it might come up when you're doing a calculation that involves the quadratic formula, for example. Okay, well, you might have tried this one. Square root of a negative number. And you hit enter and then your calculator gives you an answer. Non-real answer. So what the calculator is saying is that Hey, we can't calculate that because it's non, it's it's non-real. It's uh, a complex number, or it's a number that has an imaginary part to it. Okay, well, we just got to change the mode. So press the mode key, and go down near the bottom and switch it from the real being highlighted to a plus bi being highlighted. Now this third one here is a polar coordinate way of representing uh, complex numbers and uh, that's a different lesson for a different day but uh, rectangular format is probably what you will be introduced to first as far as complex numbers go you can leave it in this format forevermore and all the rest of your regular calculations on the on the calculator will be just fine okay well let's try square root of negative nine again hey there we go 3 multiplied by imaginary number i. Well, if we square this, we should get negative 9. Let's try it. And square it. Uh-oh, what's that you say? Doesn't work? The math is wrong? Well, be sure that we're squaring everything. 3 i in parentheses. So we're squaring this whole thing. And now we get negative 9. Here's another fun one. Ask your math uh, teacher or professor about this one. The natural number e to the power pi i. Well, these are the, we have a um, an irrational number here. We've got imaginary number here. We've got the uh, natural number. You're probably guessing that this is going to be some insanely crazy uh, irrational number that results. But hey, it comes out to negative one. Pretty slick. So, by all accounts, if we take the natural log of negative one, we should get pi i. Hey, we do. 3.14159. It doesn't give us the symbol pi, but uh, this is the decimal approximation, and we see here that it's being multiplied by imaginary i. All right. Hope that helps.